Hello. So we are back. And this time, what do we have this time? We have a nice uh, camera, a yeah. thermal camera yes. for review. Let's see it. Let's test it. So um, this is a InfiRay P2 Pro. Okay. Sounds um, good. Sounds good. Um, other stuff there is in Chinese. I swear I'm going to learn Chinese in <laughs> one day because everything is in Chinese. Let's see what is inside. Yep. Yeah. And ta-da! Oh my god, it's so small! <laughs> that is so... That's insane. Look, look how small it is. Wow. Wow. Look at this. It's so small. It's so... Smaller and... than my little finger. And this one? Um, I think that's the lens. Oh, the magnifying, yeah? Yes. That's cool. I mean, compared with your big one, this one is actually, oh my God. Actually, it's quite cool. I mean, especially when electronics, like when we are diagnosing things, you don't want big things over your motherboard. So this is quite cool. Yeah, let's connect to the phone and see. All right, let me bring my phone. So, um, search for the app. Get this one. Click to install it. And ta-da! And we have picture! Oh my yeah, god, so ugly! <laughs> um, wow. wow! Palette, I believe, from here. Oh yeah, that's cool! It's so ugly. <laughs> no, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful. Let's uh, check on the motherboard. You know, I'm curious about this because on what we are doing, you know, we are uh, we need like macro things. Yes. But uh, the resolution is quite quite good. You don't think? Yes. Yeah, I mean, check on the details on my hair. Yeah. Why Why your hair is black? Because hmm. you have white hair. <laughs> <laughs> because it's cold. Oh. Okay. Right. Um. Yeah. Let's bring the board. Yeah, try for this. Yeah, like that. Oh, that, it's magnetic. Yeah. And we have to take this off. Yeah. I'm holding it. Take it off. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's working. Close it? Oh, yeah. Closer, closer. Yeah, don't closer. Let's bring a board. Yes. Let's bring a motherboard. Okay, you know what? It's doing the job. So check here. Here we have a motherboard. I connect the motherboard. Uh, I think we can see the current which is taken by the motherboard. It's taking like 50 milliamps. But the CPU, check, that's the chipset. Yeah, it's warm. The chipset, it's warm. And we can clearly see the power supply here. So probably that's the chipset power supply and that's the CPU. But yeah, it is doing the job. I mean, the you can see the refresh rate. I mean, it's quite smooth. Uh, it is detecting the heat. I will power off the power supply. Okay, so that's the motherboard. I will start the power supply. So check there. Check the CPU. It's actually the chipset. You can see it? So you have that and you have that you can spot. Actually, they are warm. And it's not, it's taking only like 50 milliamps. So the camera is quite uh, sensitive. But yeah, definitely uh, you should consider this kind of camera for uh, like diagnostic. The focus, I mean, I can't see any pro. I have my camera, it's, it's so annoying to change the focus. But here is just fine. So check that. So I can go till here, yeah? Here is is getting out of focus, but I can still spot whatever is getting hot. Using the mic micro lens, let's see. The macro lens. Yeah, well, you have to be closer now. Yeah, 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 you can see on that point, you really have to go close. But the, the you lol, you know what? This is better than mine. 
<laughs> so check here the um, uh, the resolution. I mean, you can clearly see every component from the board. So the focus right now is about five centimeters from the board. Hmm? Yeah, we have there the chip, we have the coil. And we have the chipset. Let's power off. Powering off and yeah, the heat is start spreading. You can see? Yeah, it's going down very yeah. well. So yeah, it is uh it is pretty cool. I mean very but useful on replays. Quite impressive for it, just like a small little camera. This is a big advantage because you know I can put it here on on the desk somewhere and use it. But you can use it like a portable. You know, when you're going, uh, when you're going in holiday, like, uh, <laughs> and uh, something uh, mystery happens and you need to fix something, <laughs> you have your camera. Or I'm curious if I, if I can uh, do something like use a, a extender and stick this camera on the microscope because it's small. So I can stick it like somewhere... Uh, uh, behind of the microscope, and then the camera is moving with the microscope. This can be useful. Hmm? So, what do you think about the camera? Huh? Hmm? So, if I hold the finger, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is seeing. Let me check here. Let me check here. Check that. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite cool. Yeah. <laughs> so if you are looking to buy something like that, uh, you'll find a link in the description from where you can buy it. But it's a very small camera. And that's a cool one because this one is magnetic, so you don't have to do anything. Yeah. Put the protection back. So we're gonna use this camera on our future projects? Why not? Yeah, we can use it. Yeah, instead of the the, the big one. I mean, when, when you put a camera and that big one, right? It, yeah. It's like yeah, all but the, the places. This is big, ah, okay. It is big because you need a big screen, you see? Yeah. Yeah, that's the, the thing with the big camera. <laughs> and, Look how small the the case is. The camera resolution is 256 per 192. And you can check from minus 20 to 600 degrees. Usually those most cameras, they have like low, uh, low um, ref uh, uh, refresh rate around 9 hertz, I believe, but this one has 25. Mm hmm? Cool? Yeah, look, I put this like exactly how it was. So uh, we're gonna stop here. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And? I'm gonna say um, thank you for watching. And see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.